Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm out in Daytona, Florida. In my hands I have a fully automatic Uzi. This gun is built on an Israeli parts kit. It was made by Chase over at Definitive Arms. It's actually his gun. It is a select fire open bolt machine gun. Now one of the questions I've had with regards to open bolt Uzis, I've never really shot them much. I've shot them in Israel. I've shot a few of them here stateside. But I haven't spent a whole lot of time with them. And, and the question I have is just how reliable is a gun that it runs around with its bolt open with the magazine in it. So by open bolt, what I mean is, is when you charge the weapon, the bolt stays to the rear. And when you pull the trigger, what's it doing? There we go. And when you pull the trigger, the bolt slams home. Okay, it strips around out of the magazine and fires it. And comes back and locks the rear if it's in some automatic or if you release the trigger. So when the gun is ready to fire, you can see the ammunition right here in the ejection port. All right? So, just how reliable is a gun that runs around with its mouth open like that? And that's what we're going to show you guys this afternoon. That's what I'm going to find out. I've never done this before. So let's start off with the bolt closed. A soldier may run around with a full magazine and a gun and the bolt closed. When he's ready to use the gun, he can charge it and fire, okay? Let's make the gun safe by dropping the bolt. Put a full magazine in it. Take some of this fine Florida sand and just throw it on the gun where it gets into the action a little bit okay not too bad now the gun's mostly dry it's not real oily i'm going to pull the bolt to the rear i can feel it being a little bit gritty there is some sand i can see in the chamber area already now if sand gets in the chamber of a gun it's done okay let's fire some automatic that should be it That's kind of crazy. I can actually feel the bolt moving. Seems like it slowed down a little bit. Let's put it in full auto. All right, so that really didn't seem to do a whole lot to the gun. This is where we're going to get into trouble. Now, I'm not going to throw as much sand in it this time. As a matter of fact, okay, I'm going to make the gun safe. I'm going to just lay it face down into the sand like that, like if it were dropped. Pick it up, put it on semi. That doesn't seem to have caused it too many problems. Let's try it again. Move it around a little bit like it was dropped in the sand. Pick it up. Put it on semi. So, that doesn't seem to be doing too much to the gun. Let's take a little bit of sand and just kind of throw it. Well, missed it there. Throw it in there. All right, now you can see sand inside there. You can see it up in the chamber area. I can guarantee you that's going to cause problems. So I'm just going to shake it out real quick. And then let's just fire it, put it on semi. All right, so there we got our first malfunction. Okay, the bolt slammed. Doesn't seem to have picked up around. Gotten sand in the magazine, guys. So that's not uncommon. You get sand in magazines, it can cause them to bind up. So what's happening is that, okay, see how it just push those rounds up? Let's try it again. Should be going home. Here we go. Nope, nothing. All right, there's a round in the chamber. Just fire it out. All right, so this magazine I'm gonna set aside. It's got sand in it. Take a fresh magazine with no sand. All right, nothing. All right, so that was a fresh magazine. You can see the bolt fell just a little bit short. Side, take that round out. Let's take a look inside the gun here really quick. See if there's anything we can do to quickly get it back working condition. All right, you can see the sand inside the gun. See it in there? All right, dump that out. Let's just wipe it on my pants here really quick. You can still see a lot of sand inside there. Let's uh See if we can knock some of it out. All right, it didn't help that I just put the recoil spring in the sand. All right, now you can see how simple these guns are, right? It's just a bolt and a spring. So I'm gonna take the recoil spring. Ugh, need three hands here. Put it back in the bolt. 
Now there's troughs and stuff stamped into the receiver that are meant to collect debris. All right. But if you get too much stuff in there, it's not gonna work. Okay, it seems like it's working now. So we had like a handful of sand in behind the bolt and it seems to have been what's causing the problem. So any gun that runs around with its mouth open like that, guys, if I were to get a handful of sand down inside the barrel, the gun's done and it's probably gonna do some damage to the barrel, which is why I put the sand in with the muzzle up on the gun. But it's still an interesting test. The Uzi is a reliable little gun. I would say if you're running around the desert with one of these, go ahead and put a full magazine in it and it's gonna be far more impervious to the sand. When you're ready to fire it, charge the weapon and fire. Ah! <laughs> Still fell a little short there. Seems like the bolt velocity is dropping a little bit. All right, that's it. So, sand and open bolts, probably not a good thing. If you have, guys have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, you can ask those videos on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash military arms. I'd like to thank Chase for letting me do this to his gun. Sorry, man. I wish I could stick around and help you clean it. <laughs> and if you guys haven't already, please check out Full30. That's full30.com. We've taken all the web's best content creators and brought them under one roof, and that roof is the full30.com roof. And if you'd like to support the Military Arms channel, please swing by and check out Copper Custom. It's our online store, and I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon.